in this video i am going to review the new thrive architect image gallery element now with this new element you can have a nice looking image galleries on your thrive architect pages you don't need to install any new other plugins to have uh, image galleries like this so i am going to walk you through the different option this uh, new image gallery uh, element has so firstly let me uh, start from scratch let me firstly delete this uh, current image gallery element and let me just add it again so make sure firstly make sure that your thrive architect uh, plugin is updated to the latest version uh, in case you do not find this element so search for over here image gallery so you'll find this new image gallery over here simply drag and drop it in that content area so you can uh, choose the images directly from the media library like this so over here you can see like a uh, gray check mark so this all the images with the gray check mark including the blue one uh, means these images will be included in the gallery so but i'm going to upload this uh, images directly to show you how it works so you have a folder full of images you can simply select all the images and then simply drag and drop into the over here you can see one thing you can see that the images uh, over here have different sizes some are kind of tall and some are kind of wide and uh, one of them is square <coughs> so the images are uploaded over here okay the images are uploaded one left okay so uh, all of these images i would like to include all of the images with the gray check mark so i'm going to click on this button add to gallery okay so now what you can do you can add uh, captions to each of the images if you want to so but i'm not going to do that right now so i'm going to click over here insert gallery so this is the uh, basic gallery that you get right now and uh, let me just uh, walk you through the different options so this is the default one all of the, in this option uh, all of the images will be cropped to have the different sizes uh, to have the same sizes all of the images will be cropped so this is the option crop images to fit so if i uh, uncheck this then uh, you see the different sized images will like go back to the way they were uh, having like some of them are tall and some of them are like wide etc so let me just uh, let me just turn this option on again so this is the uh, this is the one so you can also adjust the image height from over here you can adjust the image height you can make it tall the images to make tall and you can make the images shorter so let me just leave it just like that okay so so now right now they all have uh, they all are equal size uh, they all have all of them has equal size and they looks uh, it looks nice so let me just save it now let me just show you how it looks in the front end over here okay let me just reload this page see it looks uh, very nice let me just click on this you can just uh, browse through all the images uh, using this arrow key over here back and forth and you can just uh, click over here cross to cross the images and you can see that the number of images are in the gallery so you are in the sixth image right now out of the eight images over here let me just uh, close this okay so uh, the height is so you can adjust the height from over here and you can also adjust the number of images per row okay so now it is set to four images per row you can set to three images per row or even two images per row okay so i would just uh, leave it to the way it was four images per row another nice thing is that you can have uh, adjust the images per row in different devices suppose let me just switch to tablet so uh, on tablet version you can see that the images are not looking nice so i can just set it to three images and on mobile you can see that it is looking uh, worse so you can set that to two images it would look a little bit better 
so let me just go back to the tab you can see the in tablet mode you have uh, three images per row and on desktop version we have uh, four images per row okay so let me just save it the way to us okay it's now saved now uh, you can adjust the horizontal spacing suppose you can increase the horizontal spacing like this or you can completely remove it if one same with the vertical spacing you can adjust or completely remove it uh, if you want so it looks kind of different if you remove it it's kind of trendy uh, but let me just uh, set the horizontal spacing to 25 and vertical spacing also to 25 okay so now it's done so with the thumbnail size uh, the thumbnail size is the size of the image the small image which loads so it is set to automatic means uh, it will automatically optimize the page uh, optimize this uh, preview image you can also set it to medium or large if you want and the other thing is how do you like the uh, image to behave when you click uh, how do you like to behave uh, the behavior when you click on the image so of course it uh, the behavior is right now is opening up the image in a light box and you can browse through the images another thing you can do you can add links to each of the images uh, so that's the that's another option you have instead of uh, opening up the image in a light box like this you can also add uh, custom links to each of the images so uh, i'll show it to you later on so then how do you like to the image to open up uh, from here you can adjust the size of the image which opens up in the light box suppose you click over here and this open this opens up the image the larger version of the image so from here you can set it that uh, set what the what the size of this image is going to be the one which shows up on the light box so you can set it to large or original so it's uh, it's up to you uh, but if you set it to original means it will uh, show the image in its full quality so it might be uh, it might affect negatively on your page load time so i su will suggest you to set it to large just to large okay and then you get the basic other basic options such as uh, the typography so if you add the captions if you add captions uh, then the you can choose the font family of the captions the font size etc and layout uh, this layout means margin and padding you can add different margin and padding to the top of, top of the website top of the image gallery and you can also add padding so the so both margin and pa uh, margin and padding uh, affects uh, the whole uh, the whole uh, image gallery instead of a single image so i am let me just show you other the options Gal background option you see it affects uh, the, the whole gallery instead of a single image you can add also add borders uh, animation shadow etc okay with that done let me just uh, go to another important option let me go to the other options over here at the top so for for now the gallery type is uh, grid you can also choose masonry the masonry one uh, the images will look kind of uh, in their original size the tall ones will look uh, tall and the wide ones will look wide uh, they won't be cropped uh, like the this one so they will have different sizes so in my opinion if you reduce the number of columns to three it will look a little bit better so this is uh, this will look a little bit better you can if you reduce the or uh, horizontal spacing it will look better so let me but let me just uh, set it the way to us 25 pixels save it okay now let me explore the edit design option this is very important you can do a lot of things from over here so suppose you select an image then you can apply an effect to the image uh, you can apply a grayscale effect so I, if I turn the grayscale to 100% then uh, it won't have any color and it will turn black and white basically so this is the effect 
so you have noticed one thing that if I apply an effect to one of the images then it applies to all the other images as well so so another fun thing you can do suppose you can apply 60% or just grayscale full grayscale effect and from over here you can switch to hover and you can turn the grayscale off so now if you hover you see the images will turn color colorful so that's the kind of neat effect that you can have uh, using this uh, edit option option uh, edit edit options so let me just uh, return it back to the way it was you can adjust the opacity it will completely opacity means the transparency of the images you can adjust the blur over here brightness contrast and sepia invert uh, okay so these are the option so suppose you have messed uh, the options up and you you want to return it back to its original state you can just see click set reset to default then it will just uh, return it back uh, return the image gallery back to the way it was uh, you can also add uh, image overlay over here suppose you can add a red image overlay from here you can uh, adjust the transparency of the overlay see you can adjust have a nice looking red image overlay like this but uh, I'm going to remove it for now I'm going to turn it off okay let me just uh, remove this make this okay fine so this the gone this now go finished okay now let me check the borders so you can have like you can set uh, borders to each of the images so let me just click on the solid border and increase the border size so you see i'm just applying the border to one of the images and the other images all are also having the same border you can set different border types like it's right so this is the way so you can also make the images rounded so if you apply border radius uh, this will turn round rounded edges you will have rounded edges and you can also apply box shadows to each of the images so this is the shadows so if you want to if you like shadows uh, this is how it would look it will look different so it's up to you if you want the shadows or not so this is the thing okay so another thing you can do is like you can remove the shadow on hover effect see so now if you hover over the images the shadow will be gone then it's a kind of new effect so it's up to you so that's the thing let me just save it and let me just reload this page and see how it looks so see this is the image gallery this is how it works right now so this is how it looks after i've made the adjustment so that's how you can pl uh, play around with this image gallery so i hope you found this video useful if you found this video if you found this video useful then please make sure to like this video and also please make sure to subscribe to my channel to get uh, updates to more useful thrive architect and thrive themes videos and you can also visit my website tasveerwebsolutions.com This is the website tazwirwebsolutions.com You can visit this website to read, read useful Thrive Architect uh, blogs, helpful tips and resources. And uh, I'm leaving the link to this website down in the description below. So I've uh, once again, I hope you have found this video useful. Have a great day.